Hello beautiful Aquarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I am welcoming watchers, cross watchers, subscribers and new viewers. Thank you for stopping by. Let's look and see what your overall energy is in love. Right now we have Saturn and Aquarius in your sign about halfway through its trek in Aquarius. Saturn can bring on feelings of heavy burden or hard work. At the bottom of the deck for this reading is the Three of Wands. Your person, your ship is coming in here, Aquarius. I like it. Ace of Wands, nice energy. Look at that single ready to mingle, having fun, Wheel of Fortune, somebody returns. Ooh, you have a powerhouse reading here, Aquarius. Let's see what we have. So in the recent past, you and a beloved have um, taken some time to think, to relax, looking at things from a different perspective. You're getting to know each other. I like it. Hanging around. It's Pisces energy. Being very intuitive with one another. The mutual energy currently is um, Seven of Cups. You're not in a committed relationship at this time. That's really being undecided. As you do your exploration, you have a lot of nice really soft lovely energy here um, both of you are in this thought process of you know we'll wait and see what happens I'm not sure what decision I'll make so very strong Pisces energy and the seven of cups is Scorpio energy okay how your person views the situation they view the situation as being very stable they feel as though they can count on you Aquarius this is the card of I, we call it the mommy card Queen of Pentacles it is Saturn in your sign it is a time they feel as though you're very reliable you're very nurturing you're very successful in your career you have it together your person holds you in very high regard Aquarius how they view you as a person. When they think of you, they think of you as being cool, calm, collected, very spiritual. Temperance card is Sagittarius energy, and that is the energy of being a very philosophical person, of being somebody that looks at things from a larger perspective. They see you calm, cool, collected, very much though aware of your emotions. They, be, they see you as very much a kind, sweet, loving person who likes to make things work. In their heart space is Six of Swords. Your person feels like there's been a period of time in their life in which they are healing. They're moving forward. In their heart space, they think that you could be the one. They could move in with you. They could have a life's journey with you. So they're in that exploratory. That's your energy also, Aquarius. So here you are in your reading. So they're really, they both feel as though you've been through. Uh, you've had a big life. You have things that you're both healing from, and they feel like they're sharing that with you at this time. In the near future, what we see is that your person, the tower, the tower is when things are not stable. The tower is Aries energy. There may be an epiphany. There may be news that comes in. So they're not necessarily sure that this relationship the way they're viewing it unfolding is that it might not. So Aries energy again. Now that could also be something that they're holding back and haven't told you about. So let's see. But we're going to clarify everything, of course. We have the energy that both of you mutually, the unspoken energy is actually self-imposed restriction, Gemini energy. You're both holding back. What's the energy? What does spirit have for advice? Oh, spirit is saying this is a great relationship. Aquarius, spirit is saying this has a lot of happiness. There's a lot of joy here. You could really go the distance in this relationship and this connection. Sorry. Um, what we're seeing here is that spirit is saying, look at, there aren't that many relationships who have that have this kind of connection. Spirit is saying, take a chance, be adventuresome, be bold, be brave, step in, have a full-blown romance. Don't hold back. Enjoy yourself. The short-term outcome, look at this, is manifestation, Empress energy. The Empress is all about everything that feels good, smells good, tastes good, something you can count on. Taurus energy, fixed energies here. This relationship has a lot 
of ability to go the distance here. So let's look and see what your clarifiers are. The Three of Wands indicates that both of you feel as though the other is a ship that has arrived in the harbor, that you've chosen each other at least on a a day-by-day -day basis right now. Star card, wow. This is a manifestation of healing. <clears throat> It's also the manifestation of your hopes and dreams for love coming true. Both of you feel as though the other could be the embodiment of everything you've ever wanted. So the clarifier for the, the hanged man is that you will continue to spend time together. You do see each other as soulmates. So there is something about your relationship that makes both of you feel that this could be the one. This is a significant relationship for you. So let's see what else is going on here. Tell us more about the six, uh, well, the lover's card, Ace of Coins. So an offer could really come in here. Both, both of you are thinking that, you know, you're taking a wait and see attitude, but very much, very much an offer could be the outcome of the two of you getting to know each other. Nice energy. Ace of Coins is a great. That's the engagement ring. When we get the Three of Cups next to it, we get two people who might become engaged. What is confusing you? What are the fantasies? What are the things that you need to know before you make a decision? You need to know if you can have a win with this person. You need to know how... how centered in their own ideas that they are, how egocentric they may or may not be, but you need to know if the two of you are going to open up equally in this relationship with the Heart of Cups. It looks like you will. The Heart of Cups is the Queen of Cups. It's very nurturing energy. So you're kind of experimenting to see the emotional temperature or the emotional foundation of the relationship. So we get the card of the Queen of Pentacles, a death card. Why is the death card on the Queen of Pentacles energy? This is how they view going forward with you. Or they view the situation. Five of Swords, death card. This person is really holding back. They're not telling you anything. The Heart of Swords is saying to me, with the Nine of Wands, they feel a little bit guilty here. Okay, this looks like somebody has returned from the past to get their attention. Now, I'm going to say straight up that on all of the dating apps, it's really common to start a relationship with somebody whose girlfriend dumped them. And I'm going to say girlfriend because it tends to be the majority tend to be girlfriends who want their boyfriend to make a change, to step up, to make a commitment. They dump them out of the blue and then they come back. I'm feeling like that's a storyline that could be happening. It could also be why the two of you aren't as actively speaking actively. It could also be what knocks down the tower card. So what we're getting here is your person feels as though they have to go into their past and address something that ended. The Five of Swords, something that's uncomfortable. They don't want to really tell you. You know, that Heart of Swords energy is they want to be fair. They want to do the right thing. They do feel guilty. They feel burdened. But they feel as though they have to look at this. As a part of their healing, they feel as though they have to look at this. So the temperance card, what do we have? So you look like you're the person who will make the final decision. That at the end of the day, I don't really see you willing to sort of deal with this a whole lot. If your person is dealing with somebody from the past, I think that they view you as also moving on. But Eight of Coins says that if they were able to resolve that in, in within a few weeks and come back, <clears throat> and come back and tell you about it, that you would be okay with that. The Six of Swords, they feel as though they have to heal something. That's a Magician card, the card of healing. Five of Cups. Oh, I feel like they're going to apologize to you. I feel as though they're going to apologize. I do think they're going to be very honest with you. I feel like they haven't been so far, but I think they're going to tell you that there's something going on and that they have to take a time out 
to figure out an old relationship so they can move on from it. They have to explore it, especially if it's a marriage. We have the King of Swords. So it does look like your person's going to be very honest with you. We have Spirit of Pentacles. You guys are a great match. This person feels as though, I feel as though they're going to apologize. It looks as though they're going to tell you how much they like you, how sorry they are that they're sort of pulling the rug out. The Seven of Cups are not going to tell you all the details. We saw that energy over here. Temperance card, yeah. That's them trying to possibly get back together with somebody else. Now, I'm going to say there's another storyline here. You could be in a new relationship and somebody comes back in your life and, and knocks down how you're getting along in this relationship. It could be both of you. It could be one of you. It could be the other of you. But I see two different people here trying to recover, trying to pick up the pieces after a lot of trauma in their lives. And it looks like you both have to uh, take that dive into the past and look at people from the past. It looks as though both of you, it does look very good. The Eight of Swords says that you're not going to talk about this directly because you feel as though it would bring about the ending of the relationship. But the two of you do feel that you're attached. These are soulmate energies. So it does show that the soulmate energy is here. We also get the energy of the Sun card, the judgment card letting go of that which does not make you happy let go of anybody who came in Aquarius and and gave you a bill of goods it says stay grounded don't don't let anybody back in just keep your walls up see what they invest be very careful though because this person could redo they could hurt you again if they came back right now so Spirit is saying, give up any burdens, invest in those who invest in you, don't make a decision right away, but let somebody go if, you know, you have to let somebody go if they are not able to give you what you want. Why is the Empress card here for our beautiful Aries friends? Empress energy, why is it here? Sun card, there you go again, sun card again, happiest card in the deck. So your short-term outcome you have the sun and the star. Looks as though there's an ending to a third party situation. And it looks like the two of you move forward. You choose each other. You manifest each other. This is pre-empress going to empress. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. You know, we see the sun card here also. So what we're seeing is, you know, there's an ending to a cycle for both of you. It looks like both of you come into the energy of putting something from the past to rest very successfully. But it does take time for the two of you to sort of get back on track. Let's see. Three of Wands, you will. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. Starting and ending with the Three of Wands energy. You guys are a good match. It looks like it's going to be a little bit tumultuous. You know, this is life. It happens. It's not the way we want it to happen, but it does happen. So let's see what Spirit's advice is about this, okay? Let's see what Spirit has for messages. What is it about this relationship or this situation that you should know that's going to be helpful to you, Aquarius? We have nourishment. Nourish yourself. Take good care of you. Don't let any day go by that you don't have some happiness. The unexpected is going to happen. I feel like this is going to turn out really well. I feel as though this is going to feel like a roller coaster ride. And of course, the cards went everywhere. But it looks like this has the potential to really blossom based on honesty, based on your journey. All right, Aquarius, that's your reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.